Well, my workhorse is giving me some trouble. It's a, it's a 99 Polaris Ranger, 500, six by six, but I did pull the center wheels off. It just helps me with the tire wear. This is my number one workhorse. It gets used most days. Um, I put a bigger battery in it, so that way I can run a weed sprayer off this battery. It'll run a weed sprayer for two, three, four hours without having to run the engine, and I can stretch a 100-foot hose all over the place. It's a good machine. And the side-by-side -side to replace this is going to be, you know, 10 grand used and like 15 new. So, nah, I'm going to fix it. Here's what it does. You can notice um, the air box right here. It'll start, it'll run. I've actually been using it like this for months. Startup is a, it's a little bit of an extended crank. And I'll kind of gas it to keep it going, which made me think carburetor problems. Make sure I got neutral here. Now watch when I, when I punch this. Well, didn't even get that far. Come on, baby. If I do light throttle, I can drive this around and I've been using it. But if I do wide open, it's just stumbling, loss of power. If I try to drive this, I can probably do about 10 miles an hour. Maybe maybe five actually. Um, and so, you know, I'm pretty mechanically inclined, kind of what I do for a living. But, you know, normally I would pursue... Um, you know, redoing the carburetor and stuff, but I pulled this carburetor apart. The carburetor was clean, so it kind of threw me for a loop. And then um, this fuel pump had given me some trouble in the past, so it's a newer fuel pump. I put a Chinese one in there. That fuel pump overpressurized, and it was leaking fuel out of the carburetor, so I bit the bullet, and I bought an OEM Polaris fuel pump. It was like 200 bucks, and um, that solved one issue. It no longer leaks fuel. So the first fuel pump failed. It wouldn't run. I put a Chinese fuel pump in, it would run, but it would leak fuel out of the carburetor overflow. Put the OEM fuel pump in, and that was good for a bit, but since then it's just been losing more and more and more power, and now it's the point where i got to drive this up my hill hauling trash cans, and I might barely make it. So I'm going to look a little bit into a known problem this has that a lot of people have great videos on, but nobody started it and let you listen to it. So I think that's what's going to be helpful. Um, low, low RPMs, decent. As long as I'm quarter throttle or less, you know, I can cruise all over the place. Right here, check this out. Running pretty good. All right. We're going forward low. Light throttle, everything's cool. Watch this. That's what it does. Light throttle's good. Light throttle's good. Here's wide open. So there you see it. Light throttle's good, wide open's horrible. And to add, I did pull the spark plug, and I was kind of expecting the spark plug to look like really wet and fouled, but it actually looked kind of dry, so that was a little bit weird. And I pulled the air filter, and um, there was definitely some blow-by kind of oil. And then when I opened up the air box, and I would do that, and you'd hear it backfire, and I would see flame shooting out. It's kind of a weird, a little bit of a weird issue, but I'm going to pull this apart and check the cam. I kind of have a feeling the cam lobes can be worn, but this is the sound I'm getting. So hopefully that helps somebody diagnose it if I'm right about it being the cam. All right, so initial thoughts. It was really easy to pull that cover. It's a rocker cover, kind of like a valve cover. Literally eight, uh, eight, eight millimeter bolts. And now I'm looking at the top of the cam here. I'm gonna do something. I've got the key off. 
I didn't bother pulling the spark plugs. I can pull this over pretty good. I'm going to grab this pull starter. I want to point something out that I think is going to be helpful in understanding what's going on here. Sorry, you're going to have to live with that hose in the way. All right. As I pull this over, it's a little hard. You saw these intake valves right here actuate quite a bit. I'll take a look at those one more time. They move quite a bit. Now look back there at the exhaust valves. That just, if you look, they just do a tiny little dip. That's it. It seems to me like that's not getting a full actuation, which would probably be an indication that the cam lobe is worn. The other thing I could check is I could check the valve clearance. But I'm just going to do it by feel. That's about normal from what I see on all sorts of engines. This one is tight right now. I'd have to probably pull it over a little more. That'll probably be off the lobe. Yeah, so that side to side is not, I'm not real worried about. That's got some looseness, so the valves aren't tightened up. But it seems to me like that exhaust rocker arm is not actuating very far. So unfortunately, what I have to do is pull that um, whole rocker arm assembly off. I don't have to play with the, the timing chain though, so that won't be that bad. So just go ahead, one, two, get further in here. A little tough to do it on camera. You can tell which bolts those are most likely. So now you can see we're working with a little bit better. This is just like a rocker shaft, four 10 millimeter bolts. Don't pull these ones, just the, just the outer ones. Alrighty, so I'm gonna be really honest with you. This may be a little bit embarrassing for me because this took like 15 minutes to check and I should have checked this before going through the carburetor and all sorts of stuff. But I'm going on my knowledge and that's why YouTube is amazing because even with a whole lot of training, I would have not jumped to checking this cam. I would have probably done compression test, maybe even cylinder leakage. I'd have done all sorts of tests rather than just pull this rocker cover. So if you got a Polaris 500, take it from me, pull your stupid rocker cover and look at that cam because I just had to turn it over to get the cam lobe up and that thing is shot. Which is actually pretty cool because it's going to be a cheap fix. I'm going to get the, I'm going to get the Chinese, you know, hardened cam. I'm going to get the cheap stuff and run that and I'll, I'll give you some feedback on that. But, um, that's a dead giveaway how it's so scored and I'm actually, yeah, you can kind of, yeah, you can still see. So let me run my hand across this right here. Focus on my glove cam. Right here, you can feel a, a really solid lip. I mean, it's worn that cam way down, which is kind of wild. So, um, I'll probably do a video of how to actually do the cam, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and order a camshaft, a rocker cover gasket, and I'll probably give this a little more love too. It would make sense if I know that much metals in the oil. I'm gonna go ahead and do an oil change filter. And I'm actually thinking about doing the, uh, the drive belt as well, the CVT, the clutch belt. So there's your diag.